Let's solve these very, very basic uh, trig equations. Let's find all given solutions for it. So in our first example here, we have sine of x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. We want to find all solutions of x. Now, in order to, uh, to solve this problem here, if we have sine x and we want to find x, we really just want to take the inverse sine of each side, right? We do the inverse sine of the left, inverse sine of the right, so sine and inverse cancels out on the left, and, we are equ and uh, it equals x is equal to the inverse sine of square root of 3 over 2. Throw that into your calculator. Inverse sine square root of 3 over 2 is pi over 3. Now, when it comes to stating all solutions of sine, right, this is what we are told here. So all solutions are sine are where x is equal to alpha. Alpha is our pi over 3. What we just solved here, it's your first solution here. x is equal to pi over 3 plus 2n pi. We know our first solution is pi over 3, and we're going to continue to make a rotation around the unit circle. And you, for every rotation, you will add 2n pi to this value here. So pi over 3. For our next solution, add 2n pi to that one, and keep adding that for your next to next solution. Or we are also told that x is equal to pi minus our alpha. So that's going to be pi minus pi over 3 plus 2n pi. So if we take pi minus pi over 3 and we calculate this, that is going to give us 2 pi over 3 plus 2n pi. So all solutions of this given equation are going to be pi over 3 plus 2n pi, also 2 pi over 3 plus 2n pi. Now for our next example, we are given tangent x is equal to negative square root of 3 over 3. Again, in order to solve for x, we're going to take inverse tangent of each side to cancel out that on the left. x is then going to equal the inverse tangent of negative square root of 3 over 3. Now throwing that into your calculator, inverse tangent of negative square root of 3 over 3. Now, inverse tangent of negative square root of 3 over 3 is a negative pi over 6. Stipulations for tangent is that x should equal your alpha, which is our negative pi over 6, plus n pi, every n pi after that. So this equation here, x equals negative pi over 6 plus n pi, represents all solutions of this given equation.